Okay, so here we got to the next step and actually it's the final configuration step for our eBay account and this is to set up site preferences which we already opened in one of the previous lessons if you didn't it, go there and do that right now So if you don't remember to get to site preferences go to account settings and there you have the site preferences and you will get to this page so let's see what should we do here. The first thing is enable out of stock option. What does it mean? Let's say that someone bought from you something, a product that you had, let's say earphones, doesn't matter. And the product <coughs> now went from quantity one to quantity zero in your on your eBay store. Now you don't want the product to be deleted because the most important thing for you is to keep the sales history for each product. You don't want to sell only one from the product because the sales history is one of the things that impacts the most in about your rank in the search results of eBay. So use out of stock option, I will check it as yes. When I check it as yes, if the product will go to out of stock in my store, it will not delete the product and it will wait us uh, to take the product back to stock. As I said, your dropshipping tool will, will do this for you. So I click apply here. The next step here will be to enroll to something that's called eBay Global Shipping Program. The Global Shipping Program is a program that's actually relevant only if you're selling from a US suppliers, but we will still enable it right now just to make our life easier in the future if we will need this. So what we need to do is actually we need to go here at the bottom to um, shipping, just search for shipping and then shipping preferences. Open it in a new tab and then click here edit under the global shipping program. So the global shipping program is a program that let's say I have a product from Home Depot and I want to send it to another country which Home Depot doesn't have stocks there. For example, I don't know, to my country, to Israel, let's say. So what will happen is that we send the product in the US to eBay's warehouses and eBay will ship it from for us from there to any other country eBay will handle the tax, they will take the tax automatically from the buyer, they will handle the shipping and all the, this process will, done, will be done automatically to eBay. They will also show the right shipping price to the customer. So that's what is the global shipping program and we will just enable it. Um, yes and continue. Okay, cool. Now we go back and we continue with our process here. So the next thing here is to exclude shipping locations. So let's find it. We will go again to the same page, the shipping preferences, open it in a new tab. And then here we have the exclude shipping locations. I will click on edit. And here we have all of the places where we don't ship to. So we already configured it on our policies, but we also can do that here. So I will choose here the countries that we don't ship to. We have also in Asia, China and Hong Kong. Don't see it here. I don't know where it disappeared anyway. Uh, so for now we, we can just put here China. And uh, we actually also have it in the policy, so it's not a problem. For PO box, we don't ship uh, because it's not good for us. And save. PO box, just a lot of cases and a lot of actually shipping companies don't ship there. So this is why we exclude it. So we have here all the top. We have China and we have the PO box. Let's go back and continue with uh, our settings. So the next thing here is the returns. So we have the return preferences here. Search for return preferences and set up and manage how you handle returns. Click on edit here. And then scroll down. We don't need to touch anything here. And just scroll down and enable the give me the option to add a RMA return authorization number to each return label. 
And what does it mean? Instead of eBay just approving the return, we want the option to handle it. We want the option to be able to add the RMA number and we want the option to handle the return in the right way. We will talk about it later in the course. And this why we want to enable this option. So after we finish this, we just go back. Let's go again to the um, site preferences. And then we have one more thing, which is called um, unpaid item assistant here. Then you just click on edit here. And here we have an option to give eBay to handle unpaid item uh, cases for us. What is unpaid item? As I said in one of the previous lessons, sometimes someone can pay us on eBay without actually getting the, the uh, without actually paying. I mean, they can buy a product and say that they will pay in a few days. We don't want uh, to handle these cases and we want eBay to handle it for us. So what we will do here is that we will just check here none, then we will check none, here we will uh, uh, put it as no no and uh, here that's all I will click save and here we finished the last thing that we need to do is another thing for returns is that we will search here for addresses It's here on the left. Then we go to return address. Let me log in. And here we need to put the right return address for us. So here just put your name. So let's say I will write here uh, my name or any name of the account, it doesn't matter. And here it's the most critical part. So as I said before, sometimes eBay approves uh, returns uh, instead of us and we don't want it to happen. So the solution for this is to let our buyer know that they do not need to ship to the address that eBay gave them. They need to contact us and in this way we will help them. So for the street we will write uh, something like do not like yeah do not ship to this address contact us this will be our street and the street to do not ship to this address contact us and for the city we will write uh, any city in the uh, US so I write here Seattle state and put here the zip code then uh, for the phone number put your uh, phone number here here I, I recommend you to put the real one and then click save wrong zip code so I fixed it save now it will ask me if that address is fine for me so I have here my name and do not ship to this address contact us this way the buyer will not ship to the address that eBay gave them because they actually cannot really ship to this address. They will see that the address is wrong and they will contact us. This way we solve the situation that eBay handles the returns for us and this way we will stay safe and know that we are doing what, what we want to do and handling the returns on the way that we planned to do that. I hope that everything is clear. And of this video, we will have all of the relevant links. See you in the next videos. Hey, so for sure, this is one of my favorite lessons as this is my baby. So I want to talk with you about the tool that you should use for your business. You cannot manage your business without it. You cannot manage any dropshipping business without something that's called 
monitor. So let's talk about it. So any business need tools, let's talk about your main one. So the main tool that you need for your dropshipping business is something that called dropshipping monitor and also a dropshipping lister. So dropshipping monitor is a tool that monitors your prices and stocks with your supplier. What does it mean? Let's say that we sell from AliExpress and let's say that we uh, listed this mouse for $100. So if the price was increased to 110 and then someone will buy it from you from your previous price, you will lose money. So what a monitor does is that it increases a price for you automatically when the price was increased in your supplier site. When the price was decreased, it will do the same action and it will decrease the price according to the new price with your supplier. Now about stocks. If the product went to out of stock in your supplier site, for example on AliExpress, this mouse was on stock, it had even 100 uh, mouses and now it has zero. So what will happen is that it will put it as out of stock in your eBay store also. And we will talk soon why it's so important. Now let's talk about what is products lister. So products lister is something else. So first of all about the monitor, it's the active listings that you see here. It will show you all of your listings from your store. And here we see the uploader. The uploader or lister, you can call it however you want, is something that with one click of a button copies all of the details from your supplier site to your system, to the monitor, to AutoDS. What does it mean? It means that instead of going and copying the title, images, description, item specifics, um, shipping times and everything like this, it will do and it will do that automatically. It will just go Take all of the robot will take all of the page from the uh, AliExpress supplier, for example, and any other supported supplier, and copy it to your uh, monitor, to your site. So why do you must have this tool? The thing is that if you don't have monitor and the price decreases, you will lose money. But that's not the worst case. The worst case is if the product goes to out of stock. You will need to cancel the order to your client and then you will have a problem. Because if you cancel too many orders, it's something that shouldn't happen and eBay will block your account. eBay will suspend you, it will give a bad experience to your buyers, you can get negative feedbacks, your account may be suspended, uh, may be restricted and it's a huge problem for us. So we want to avoid this situation and this why we should have a dropshipping monitor. If we don't have it, we put our account in a dangerous and it's very bad for us. Also, usually people call dropshipping monitor something the whole system, like the whole AutoDS. It's not the right thing to say, but uh, we can keep calling it monitor if that's how it's easy for you. But in general, dropshipping monitor usually has more features, which saves you time and makes your uh, work much easier. And we will talk about really soon. So before we get to the features, how all this started, I just want to share with you my personal experience and my personal story. So AutoDS is the biggest dropshipping tool right now. It started around uh, four years ago when I recall this video, it's around three and a half years um, in the end of 2016. Um, so how it started? A friend of mine came to uh, me and my friend and she asked us, uh, can you build a small tool for me? I started something that called dropshipping, she was in the same situation as you. And uh, this time uh, there wasn't, weren't really any good tools in the market. So she asked us to build something very small for her to adapt the prices. At this time we, we uh, really enjoyed developing and we made it for her and she started to use it. Then we said to ourselves, um, why not to improve this tool and make it as a tool for ourselves that will sell for us totally automatically and then we will just build a dropshipping empire. We will just create more and more stores automatically, use our self tools to improve our store stores and make everything automatic so it will not take us any time. 
and you had actually a situation where all of the products finding, all of the um, messages, all of the auto ordering, like uh, uh, orders processing, price and stock monitoring for sure, happened automatically. So that's how it worked for us. We started using this, we made a lot of money, and then uh, we went to a conference of dropshipping in Israel. In this conference, we started to talk with some people and we showed them the tool that we built ourselves. And the reaction was amazing. It was like, wow, well, why don't publish it for everyone? So what we did is that we started to add some big sellers that we found in the conference to use the tool and we saw that it works really well. So firstly, we decided to open the tool only for big sellers to save uh, customer support and not work with smaller users. And then we decided what not, why not to make it much bigger and start working with everyone. Why not to open Autodesk for everyone? And actually that's the story and that's how it started. And from there we just started to implement stuff for ourselves, for our stores, and then to give it to the users also. And that's how it works until today. So the main and the only tool that you need to use for your business right now is Autodesk. Maybe later you uh, may uh, use some other tools, but for now I think and I'm sure that that tool will be enough for you. So, some things here. The first thing is that uh, the tool will help you with product finding, but in the later stage, not right now. Later it will be a great for you, a great tool for you for product finding because it helps to find a massive amount of products, not only one. It will do a price and stock monitoring for you, which we already talked about. Automated orders, when an order will come to your store from AliExpress, AutoDS will process the order for you totally automatically and update the tracking number from AliExpress. It will do a automatic price and stock optimization, it means that if the price is too low, for example, uh, you get a lot of sales, it will try to increase your profits and it will try to increase the price. If the tool sees that now nobody buys from you for X days, it will decrease the price automatically to uh, make you still competitive. And also we will have our customer support management system that you will be able to use to save time and answer your customers easily. Right now Autodesk is the biggest dropshipping tool as I said and actually, um, actually that's the only tool as I said that you will work with. I hope that now it's clear what is a dropshipping monitor, what is a dropshipping tool. Um, some other things that you should know about AutoDS is that in AutoDS our main focus is also uh, in a community. So AutoDS is not just a tool, it's also a community. You can go to our Facebook, YouTube, Instagram pages and check that on Facebook the community is super active, also on Telegram. So I really recommend you to join, I will add it under this video, so uh, just check the links there. We're also making conferences and webinars, um, we had only one conference until now, but we will make more and more conferences, it's one of our goals in the company. And also another thing is that uh, we are making webinars every month or few months, it uh, depends on uh, our overload and not a DS, and there we share a lot of my knowledge and things that I learned lately. So I wish you good luck and I'm really happy that we get to this stage and in the next lessons we will create your account in AutoDS and start listing products automatically. See you there. How to connect your eBay account to AutoDS. First head to the AutoDS website at autods.com and on the top right click on sign up now. Then you'll be taken to the AutoDS platform. The first thing that you'll need to do is enter your email address. Once you do that, click on continue, and then you'll be prompted to enter your full name and your desired password. Once finished, click on continue. Now you can select your preferred selling channel. In this example, we'll go with eBay. Now you'll need to select a plan that suits your needs best. So whether you are a beginner, an advanced, or an expert dropshipper, you'll find the right plan that will give you the best bang for your buck. Here you can choose if you'd like to process your payments using PayPal, or a credit card. We'll go with PayPal, so enter your login credentials, then click on agree and continue. You'll be taken to the AutoDS platform with a welcome screen 
and here you can add your first eBay store. Then enter your PayPal account email which is associated with your eBay store. The eBay target is the region that you're selling on and you can choose if you want to use the non-API version which comes with less functionalities but does not require an API connection to eBay. Once you're finished, click on connect to store and you'll be taken to the eBay login page. Fill in your login credentials for eBay and then you'll be taken to the grant application access for AutoDS. This is to approve the API connection, or in other words, to approve the connection between AutoDS and eBay. Once we click on agree, we'll be taken back to the AutoDS platform, where our first message will be waiting for us, and we can already go ahead and get started with our eBay stores. Good luck and happy dropshipping!